versus the plaintiff, Jacqueline. She says the defendant brought her mother over for a visit. Well, she had an accident on her new couch and it became soiled. She tried to have the thing professionally cleaned, but it still smelled. The couch was only four months old, and she's owed $1,042.17, the amount she needs to buy a new one. This is the defendant, Cindy Wallace. She says there was unfortunately an accident, but she had the couch professionally cleaned and black light tested. The professional passes a black light over the couch and proves the stain is completely gone. The plaintiff was fine. There was no smell, and then out of the blue, the plaintiff says she wants to get a love seat to replace the couch, and she wants her to pay for it. Bottom line, the woman's trying to cash in on something she has no right to cash in on. She's accused of making a mess of things. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it? Come to us, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Jacqueline, ma'am. you've asked us not to use your last name. You're suing Cindy Wallace and Arlene May. You have power of attorney for, that's your mom? Yes. Okay. For $1,042.17 for a couch that, according to you, Arlene ruined. Okay, talk to me and tell me what's going on. Um, Cindy um, and I were good friends. I had taken care of her mom at one point. She had come over with her mom. How long did you take care of her mom for? Um, Maybe six. I don't know. Um, If Cindy would like somebody to sit with her, would she have to run downtown or something? I would go over and sit with her. Um, They had come over to the house. and How old's your mom? 75. It's not that old. I know. Is she suffering from any... Alzheimer's dementia? Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. That's hard for you. She's wonderful. Good for you. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. She is a oh. wonderful woman. Yes. Um, that, that, that we know. And they had come to visit, and Arlene unfortunately sat down right in the middle of the couch. Wait, I, wait. So they come to your house to visit after you're no longer working for them? Well, I'm on call. I was on call. If Cindy, like I said, needed somebody to they came sit over with to her. Visit purely socially? Yes. And her mom stood up and she was drenched, and the sofa was drenched. Um, I have pictures of the sofa um, if you'd like to see it. Um, unfortunately, it looks brown okay, in this picture. When you say drenched, you are referring to? She urinated. She urinated, okay. Unfortunately. So, uh, and no one knew when it was occurring? Not until she stood up and she okay, was. Okay, and is this, a, a, was, uh, I, incon- I hate talking, I mean, I, um, was there any warning about this? Is this an issue that would come up or not really? Um, she had never had an episode of daily incontinence. Okay. At night she had, but not never. This is a first time okay. episode. Okay. And according to you, that's not true? Correct. She had mentioned that it happened once before at another person's house that her mom had urinated. Okay. All right. In conversation. With um, because Cindy. I'm wondering why you're suing her and the reason why is... I believe she should replace the couch. No, why are you suing her? She did not ruin your couch. Why are you suing her? Because she's the caregiver for and her you mom. Believe and that she should, she have, should had, have had it taken, depend had, on taken her. Taken measures had depends. Absolutely. Whatever the, yes. Okay. Um, all right. So, what do you have in your possession there? Well, I have a picture of the sofa. It's, when it's, was that picture taken? Shortly after it happened. Like the same day? Not the same day. Before no. it was cleaned or after it was cleaned? After it was cleaned. Okay. Let me see. Um, there's not really, you can't see so if when you So when this happens, what's the discussion between the two of you? Well, initially, um, Cindy came over with a Bissell machine and tried to steam clean it. And then she came over twice after that with some urine be gone spray. Um, and it still smelled. Then she had a gentleman come Did over. Did you agree that it still smelled at that point? Um, not after we had it professionally cleaned. Right, right. No, but at this point, the, the juncture we're talking about where it's urine be gone and a steam Not cleaner. after we did the urine be gone. That you was felt done that the it, next it, it day. no longer smelled after the urine be gone. Right. But she felt it did. Yes. Okay. Was there a visual stain? No. All right. So w- since she felt it did, you turned around and hired a professional to clean it. Yes. What fabric? Is this fabric? Leather? I can't tell it's from the It's fabric. Group. It's fabric. I, okay. Is this the professional who you hired? Yes. Step on up, sir. All right. Um, so did, did you go out to this house and, and take care of this sofa? Yes. I got a call earlier in the day saying, can you come by? So I came over that evening around 5.30, 6 o'clock. Okay. And what method did you use to try to clean it? 
I use a hot water chalk mouth extraction unit uh, that produces 200 degrees of water. Uh, plus, I use a special solution that deodorizes and sanitizes the, the fabric. Okay. Yeah. Um, and does that usually do the trick? Uh, absolutely. I've been known to get it out skunk smell, urine smell, all kinds of odors. Not cat urine. Uh, cat urine first. Cat urine? Yeah. I thought nothing took out cat urine. <laughs> I thought like when you guys leave, it smells April fresh, and then like two weeks later, I'm dead. Exactly. Um, That's with it's urine. possible to get out. I can't guarantee they won't be there again, but they will get the odor out. Right. Um, now, she's saying it still smells. Did you bring me a cushion or something? Because I'm willing to smell it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I would have had to I mean, really, that's, that's how it works. You know, how else am I? You're saying it smells, out. and you're saying it, it can't. Well, uh, when I did the process, we actually black light tested it, which uh, black light, we lower all the lights, turn on the black light, and it will detect um, still uh, feces or any matter on the fabric but there was nothing that glowed to show that there was something still in the fabric. Uh, also, I well, mentioned- Could the smell come back even if your black light doesn't show uh, well, particles? Well, it could if it was further beyond right. the fabric into the cushion. Right. It could come back if it was in the cushion itself. Right. Because my, my solutions only deal with the fabric itself. Right. So, as you are standing here under oath, you're not telling me it's impossible that that smell came back. It's not impossible. No. It's not impossible that the no. smell came back. And as you are standing here, you are telling me the smell is back. The smell is there now. Yes. Okay. And it did smell, you okay. ever go back there to see if it was true that the smell was still there now? Yes, a few times. After um, he had cleaned? Yes. Then right. um, next day, he was cleaned on the 24th. They went back on the 25th because I was bringing her to the doctor's. Couch was dry, did not smell. Wait, wait. She was taking care of your mom? I was taking care of she, her. I brought her to the doctor's. She had a. Oh, you were taking care of her? Yes. Oh, it is so sad that you folks we're, are here. Exactly. Yes. Guys, yes. I mean, so you then, weren't just helping each other out at the, in the difficult circumstances of your mom. You're also friends who helped each other out. Uh, okay, go yeah. on. So on the 27th, and this is on my phone. I actually went over there because I thought I had the couch sold for her and wanted to make sure it didn't smell. So I went over there and I actually smelled the couch myself. And um, Did I, it smell? No, no. And doesn't sometimes like extreme heat then bring the smell back and stuff? Humidity will bring Humidity smells. brings the smell but, back? Um, sometimes I find that uh, people are smelling other things in a room that may be uh, damaged. Not right. to put your nose there. Yeah, but you, you really have to bury your I mean, nose. I, I am guilty of, yeah. <laughs> I will put my nose wherever, I, I want to get to the <laughs> bottom of this answer so yeah. badly that I will just, it'll just be done, because it's right. either there or it's not. It's so easy. And, uh, but according to you, you couldn't take cushions out? Unfortunately. They're not that kind of cushions? They're not removable. They're not removable. Um, if you look at the picture. So when you went back, did you get down on a knee and smell? Yes. And, and according one, to you, it doesn't smell. When you said that to her, it doesn't smell. What would she say to you? Yes, it does. And then it was more that Kevin wanted the couch out of the house. He wanted a new couch. I offered to put it Who's on. Who's Kevin? Right and here. what is he to you? My significant other. Okay. And I offered, because I didn't feel there was going to be a resolution. I'm saying it doesn't smell. I don't smell it. I went over there a couple times. So when you're saying I don't smell it, what is she saying? Put your head closer. Like, what does she, she say? Says, <laughs> she says when it's hot and humid out. Yeah. So I tried to put it on Craigslist, tried to sell it, and she wouldn't answer phone calls telling me that if people call her house, she doesn't know the number, that she's not going to answer the phone. So Yvonne, I actually, she heard about this through the grapevine, and she said that Jackie's house, when it's hot and humid, always has an odor to it because her cats urinate on the wall behind the cat box. And Come on up, will you? I'm Yvonne. Okay, and Yvonne, how do you know her? Friends. Your friends also? Okay, yes. and so talk to me about the, um, the odor in her house. Well. The cat, her cat box, she puts foil and newspaper on the wall because the cat sprays the wall when it, it goes to the bathroom. And then her daughter's uh, dog, um, she babysits the dog, and that's the reason she got rid of the first couch, um, because the dog peed all over that couch, and she 
didn't like the smell, so she's washing it and fanning it. And when it's hot and humid, and then the dog pees on the floor, which she complains about. Okay. But you can get it off the floor. Well, on the and carpet, you can, too. I think you can get it off the wall. I mean, that might be more porous. It's over. It's a period of probably seven, eight years that I know of that this has been going on. That her house smells like urine? Yes. <laughs> when it gets hot and humid, yes, it does. <laughs> What say you to that? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, if you, so if somebody pees on the sofa, can you get the smell out? I believe you can. How so? By using disinfectant. Okay, but will that remove the actual smell? What do you think? I think that it would be very hard, but you could, I guess. You think? Could you get the smell out? I don't think you can, nor would I want to stay on a place that had pee on it. Fair enough. I mean, I guess the answer is, it depends, right? Here you go. Going inside the courtroom. Kathy was at my house this morning. Did my house smell like urine Come on, was it hot and humid this morning? No. Uh, <laughs> no, the question is that when it's hot and humid that you have pets and that there are other I pets. I have two have. cats. Yeah. Does, um, did you have a problem with, the, with one of the I cats? I do yes. have aluminum foil on the wall taped in the kitchen where the cat box is. Okay, and what about uh, near the sofa? The sofa I have, my other lazy boy is 14 years old. It does not smell like urine. But what about the spot where this sofa is? I don't know what she's talking about. Did she ever tell you that near this couch, near the oh, wall? Oh, no, I know nothing this, about no, no. this okay. couch. This I know nothing. I only know and about according the According to the foil she says she puts up is in another room? It's in, it's the, in kitchen. the kitchen. It's in the kitchen, yeah. Is it just like creeping you out a little? Like you just don't want the couch because... No, it's because it does stink like urine. Let me hear, for, what's what's the gentleman's name? Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Does this thing smell? Yes. How do you know it's not the cat? Uh, you, there's a pretty distinctive difference between human urine and Indeed cat Indeed there is. That's pretty true, right? <laughs> true. There's a real ammonia scent to the cat urine that's just unmistakable. Yeah. Uh, who's that nice lady there, moral support or a witness? This is my friend Kathy. She, she was walked? at my house this morning. She could tell you if it smelled like urine or not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just this morning. Okay. <laughs> she was there this morning. <laughs> Folks, how, how, how do you, what kind of superhuman powers do you people think I have that I'm gonna be able to tell whether something smells when I'm in this courtroom somewhere else? Yeah. Show me the receipt for the couch, yeah. Um, one other thing, this is July 10th. Um, Jackie and Kevin actually came to my house and we talked about the situation. I told them I can't pay for this couch. And that's when we made a deal that we would put a verbal agreement that we would put it on Craigslist, but they didn't want to deal with people coming in and out of the house. So I said, well, we can bring the couch to my house. I'm home all day long, taking care of my mother. They can come through. The next day, I get a text from Jackie, and it's on my phone, stating that she's not going to bring the couch to the house because she was afraid that it was going to get damaged in transportation, might get torn or something. That night, Jackie came over to my house, and we were getting ready to go out, and she made mention of that's when she was going to take the money when I paid her to get a love seat or two recliners, but Kevin really just wanted a couch. So it made me think at that time that, wow, okay, she just wants the money to buy a new couch. And I did go to the house What after. money had you offered her at that point? You saying I she told her I was gonna put it on Craigslist for her, and I did. Did anybody ever make an offer? Lots of them. And what happened? She didn't want to answer the phone. And I had Okay, email. show me the proof that you were trying to reach her to be able to, to mitigate the damages in this case and to try to get it sold. And then, by the way, was anybody going to tell anybody else that somebody peed on it when they. <laughs> and I also have. Wait a minute. Your Honor. She's yeah. I have on my cell phone, she had wrote that Susan will be calling me to come see the couch. If it doesn't work out, I have another in the wing, she wrote, and I wrote, haven't heard from anyone yet. I just got home from awake. I had gone to awake, and that was at on July 29th. And then on August 12th was the last text I had gotten from her that says, I think I had the couch sold. That was the last. And then what happened? I heard nothing else. All Nobody's right, let me called see your me. Text. I'm good. How much were you selling it for? 700 
That's when we were talking about how we were going to get the couch to my house if I had it sold in old line. Okay, can I see the, can you just hand it over? Yeah. <laughs> Thank a you. lot of them. Ah, I know, I'm yeah. good at this. <laughs> There's plenty. Um, what, did, did anybody tell him, like, when you decided to sue her, did you ever call her and tell her I'm going to sue you? I text her. And said I'm going to sue you? That I was going to take her to small claims court. It's down at the bottom of all that. Because I, I, I'm just, re you guys have contact almost daily. You talk to each other, you chit chat, you're friends. I'm just, I'm it trying to imagine back. a scenario where I would end up in small claims court against somebody who's this close a friend of mine, just, you know, over a couch. Everybody's cooperating. You know, you're talking about how you're gonna get the couch over if it's sold. Yahoo, I think I have the couch sold on July 22nd. I never heard from anybody or nobody came to look at it. Can I stop over later and spray the couch? Got another person interested. Right, because it did smell at that time. So she wanted to spray it again before somebody came to look at well, it. I said the two of you can pull one over on the next person? Well, that's the shame of it. Well, it's shame on who? Because you're totally complicit in it. Well, I'm reading your answers. It's not like you're like, oh, that's just, you know, an abomination and I won't participate. You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Judge, and just Stop talking, I'm okay. reading. I just went on Craigslist. I didn't see the couch. I'm trying to sell it. You're the one who should be dealing with it. You said you would sell it, get me the money. Then you say on August 12th, I think I have the couch sold. What happened to that one? She, it's in the emails. I gave the people her name and phone number and-, and she didn't answer. All right. No. I've heard enough. She called. Okay, I think that everybody was trying to do the right thing um, in a way that was least damaging as possible. But it makes no difference. The bottom line is um, there is a couch. The couch got damaged. It is not unreasonable. I've been, I've been in this position before. You know, I have three kids, I have pets, I, have, I just know, you know, what happened. You know, you told me about What happens is that when it gets hot and humid, you know, the smell comes back. Um, so it is what it is. You know, I have a depreciated couch that's been there for X amount of time. So what it's worth is what you could get on the open market for it, not what you paid for it six months earlier, even though I know that feels unfair because you weren't, you weren't planning on buying a new one. I understand that. But that's what the measure of damages is in court because you got to use it X number of months. So what I am going to do is I am going to order a verdict in favor of the plaintiff, but in, not in the amount that she's asking for, but in the amount of $700. That's my judgment. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the plaintiff does collect 700. Come on in here. The defendant uh, taking care of her mom. How, how you feel about the outcome? Um, you know, I'm happy she got something, um, but I think it's really sad that a friendship was ruined over a couch. Hmm. Yeah. How long have you two been friends now? About two years. Two years, and it was a very, very good friendship. Everything we heard about, even her taking care of your mom at certain points. Right. Uh, is it a reparable friendship? I mean, can you spray something on the friendship and clean it up? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you willing to try? I, uh... You My feeling to? on the whole thing is uh, it's very sad, but, uh, you know, it's obvious that she just wanted a new couch and that mm -hmm. um, she used the opportunity, and right. now she's going to get a new couch. And lose a friend? All right, around yeah, the corner so. that way, okay? Wait, don't you All right. get the couch? Go. Yeah, she gets the couch. All right, so step on in here, and did you hear what she had to say there? I kind of heard the bits and pieces. You willing to lose a friendship over the couch? It and is the mom what it is. Mm -hmm. um, the couch can go on the front lawn. Are you going to miss her, or her mom, she can come and get all those it nice if people? She'd like it. What about her mom? Are you going to miss uh, her? Her mom's a doll. Um, of course I am. Yeah, I, you blew off the friendship, though, for the couch, uh, though. You know, I was a caregiver. I had her go into the bathroom right, every right. two hours. That's okay, what you need over to Harvey. To okay, you know, it doesn't sound fair, but you are only entitled to the depreciated value of the item at the time of the loss. And it may be, you know, once you get a sofa and you take it home, it's going to probably lose half the value right there, just like a car or anything else. That's law. 